It is the first time since lockdown restrictions were lifted that wrestlers are allowed back into the Tux Wrestling Club. African bronze medalist in the 57 kilogram weight division, Danki Tao, is thrilled to be back on the mats and believes that everyone should take up the sport. Uh, wrestling is a, it's a nice sport and it's very, it's very good for a person. And um, when you are wrestling, you are not getting, not, not getting anger or something like that. Uh, wrestling makes you strong. Boys and girls make up the classes on a Tuesday and Thursday evening, regardless of their size or weight, creating an extremely competitive environment. But for the talented 13-year-old Chloe Brivis, it forces her to be a better wrestler. Most of the kids here is my size and my weight, and they always push me. Yet here is a lot of boys that are bigger than me and a little bit stronger than me, so they push me to go further. Head coach Niels de Jager believes that the intense training levels and rivalry on the mats prepares his wrestlers for all aspects of life and equips them with the unique skills that will come in handy for the future. It's very intense, the guys are training very hard, doing push-ups, so um, it's a very good all-over sport from head to toe. They learn how to fall, they learn how to attack, rolls. It's a good, good all-over sport. South Africa has had many Olympians and Commonwealth Games medalists in the past. But to continue producing wrestlers capable of competing against the best, more needs to be done to nurture talent. I believe we got some of the best junior wrestlers uh, up to about under 15. And then because we don't have wrestling schools and sports schools, uh, they tend to fall a little bit out of the bus. So we, we need to focus on those wrestlers, the cadets and the juniors, uh, in order to achieve uh, success at the Olympic level. But talent-wise, it's huge. Despite all the intense training sessions, the end goal remains the same for the young wrestlers at the Tux Wrestling Club, and that is to represent the Rainbow Nation at the pinnacle of sport, the Olympic Games. My biggest dream is one day to go to Olympics and perform there, but one step at a time is, is right. Wrestling in South Africa faces many challenges, from a lack of funding to a reduction in suitable facilities. But one thing the Rainbow Nation doesn't lack is talent. And with a rich Olympic and Commonwealth Games history, the sport has an abundance of potential future Olympians. It's just a case of providing the right support, opportunities and a little bit of luck to get these aspiring amateur wrestlers to realize their dreams. CS2 Plus C, CGTN, Pretoria.